Have you ever wondered why the Great Sphinx of Giza, one of the most iconic landmarks in Egypt, is not mentioned in any of the ancient hieroglyphics? Despite its massive size and historical significance, there is no record of the Sphinx in any of the ancient Egyptian texts or inscriptions. This has led to countless theories and speculations about the true origins of the Sphinx. On today's deep dive, we will explore the mystery of the Great Sphinx and the possible reasons for its absence in the ancient Egyptian records. The Great Sphinx of Giza is a massive statue of a mythical creature with a lion's body and a human head, believed to have been built around 2500 BC during the reign of Pharaoh Khafre. It stands at a towering height of 66 feet and measures 240 feet in length. The Sphinx has been a subject of fascination for archaeologists and historians for centuries, who have tried to uncover its true purpose and origin. One of the most puzzling aspects of the Sphinx is the fact that it is not mentioned in any of the ancient hieroglyphics. The ancient Egyptians were known for their meticulous record-keeping, and they documented almost every aspect of their daily lives in writing. They recorded the construction of temples, pyramids, and other structures, and even their battles and conquests. Yet, there is no mention of the Sphinx in any of their texts. So why is the Sphinx absent from the ancient Egyptian records? There are several theories that have been put forward to explain this mystery. One theory suggests that the Sphinx was not originally built by the ancient Egyptians, but by an earlier civilization that existed in the area. This theory is based on the fact that the Sphinx shows signs of erosion caused by water, which suggests that it may have been built during a time when the area was lush and green, rather than the arid desert that it is today. Some researchers believe that the Sphinx may have been built by the Atlanteans or some other ancient civilization that predates the Egyptians. Another theory suggests that the Sphinx was built by the ancient Egyptians, but it was not considered important enough to be mentioned in their texts. This theory suggests that the Sphinx may have been built as a symbol of power or as a monument to a pharaoh, but it was not seen as significant enough to be recorded in the hieroglyphics. Yet another theory suggests that the Sphinx was mentioned in the ancient Egyptian texts, but the records have been lost or destroyed over time. This theory suggests that the Sphinx may have been mentioned in some of the lost books of ancient Egypt, which were destroyed during the various invasions and periods of turmoil that the country has experienced over the centuries. Despite the lack of mention of the Sphinx in the ancient Egyptian records, there are some clues that suggest that it was an important structure in ancient times. For example, the Sphinx is located near the pyramids of Giza, which were built as tombs for the pharaohs. This suggests that the Sphinx may have had some religious or spiritual significance, perhaps as a guardian of the pharaoh's souls. In addition, there are some inscriptions on the Sphinx itself that suggest that it was an important structure. For example, there is an inscription on the Sphinx's chest that reads, The sun god Ra sees everything. This suggests that the Sphinx may have been associated with the sun god Ra, who was one of the most important deities in the ancient Egyptian pantheon. In conclusion, the mystery of the Great Sphinx of Giza continues to intrigue and fascinate people all over the world. While it is true that there is no mention of the Sphinx in the ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics, this does not mean that it was not an important structure in ancient times. The Sphinx is a testament to the ingenuity and creativity of the ancient Egyptians, and it continues to inspire awe and wonder in all who see it.